Well, hello there! And, as I say every week, <laughs> it's that time again! It's time for that blog that truly blazes, blazing into your heart, your mind, your spirit. Not your body, Not your necessarily, body. but... We discussed that last but time. But we wouldn't mind blazing into your wallet. Wow. <laughs> nah, just kidding, but... <laughs> We do do a lot of fun stuff, and we do hope you take advantage of the things we both offer on our websites. I have numerous downloads available, some for pay, some are free. The paid ones are really, really good, so do check them out. My website, www.bobdecker.net, home of some of the greatest hypnosis downloads on the Internet. Okay, and a commercial. Let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get started with our reading. Our first card is the last card of the previous week's reading. Mm -hmm. And that card is the Two of Discs. Now the Two of Discs is ascribed to Jupiter in Capricorn. This is an energy that sort of conflicts. Jupiter wants to expand. It wants to go blazing forth into new and exciting things. Capricorn wants to be conservative, wants to save money, it doesn't want to fritter it away. It's very conflicting energies. But that's all right because sometimes we have to contain our force to conserve it. All right? And sometimes we have to balance things out, which is sort of what the two of discs basically indicates. Did you have something you wanted to say about well, that? Well, just really what we talked about last week, which is that um, uh, Jupiter right now uh, has gone back into Pisces for a little bit, and so that's actually sextile and supportive of the card that we drew, which we said was... Um, Jupiter and Capricorn, which is mm. going to hold it back, and the uh, Jupiter that we're actually in, which is Jupiter and Pisces, is going to actually add a little bit more of, of a dreamy energy to that kind of money, and to sort of actually um, to to cushion it, to cushion the blow of what that would usually feel like. So that's that's nice. Yes, it is, and it's sieging into a nice energy right now. Mm -hmm. The next card is adjustment, or in the Rider Waite deck, justice. Now this is attributed to Libra. Libra is a sign of balance. Mm -hmm. It's a sign that loves harmony, beautiful things, fairness. Libras want to be fair. They want everything balanced. They at times want to please everybody. It is a desire for harmonious relationships and circumstances in our lives. So this is cool though because the last card was sort of a balancing card. Mm -hmm. Two of discs. Now we're into another higher a higher duality, so we're raising vibration. And what we're doing is we're taking that balancing act that we do with the finances and we're spreading it throughout our lives. Mm -hmm. So we're focusing and balancing our lives. And what's so interesting about um, the Justice card is that, as Bob was saying, it is Libra, number one, but number two, we actually went into Libra on the 23rd. And while Libra energy is, is harmonious and can potentially be very people-pleasing, it's also karma. It's karmic payback. Um, it's justice, but it's also that sort of, um, it's the back and forth of karma. It's if I do this to you, this will come back to me, mm -hmm. both for the good and the bad. So karma, uh, Libra and justice and all of those sort of Libran issues across the board really provide a springboard and a seesaw and a balancing act for the universe. And what's very interesting is right now, and also timed perfectly with the, um, the autumn equinox a couple of days ago, that sense of karmic balance and things not only flowing, but a sense of, wow, I put so much work into this, surely I must get something back, is really active right now as well. So um, as much as Libra has the softer energy, there's also, I want to emphasize, that there's also that karmic um, um, balance to it, the law of, law of attraction in a way, which is really what Libra handles. So very interesting that that should come up in the reading. Yeah, that is. It's also interesting because Libra, Saturn does very well in Libra. Mm -hmm. Saturn is exalted, so to speak, in Libra, which means it does good in that sign. Mm -hmm. And Saturn rules Capricorn, mm -hmm. which was a sign of the two of discs. Right. So there is a really nice natural progression here with these energies. And then towards the end of the week, we very nicely siege into the energy of the fool. Mm -hmm. And now the fool is very good. It's not foolishness. It's not eccentricity. What it is, it's freedom. It's electric freedom. It's rising above limitations. It's transcending them. It's not just blowing them off. It's moving beyond them and just simply not letting them restrict us. So what we're going to be doing is rising above these dualities, okay? We're going to also be transmuting our karma, in mm -hmm. a sense. 
maybe some things we've gone through lately, we paid some karma, we've been clearing the decks, and now we're ready to be uplifted, we're ready to go on up to the next level. We're ready to That's, have some fun. Yeah, ready to have some fun. <laughs> That's the energy of the yeah. pool. And what else, Marissa? Um, go ahead. Well, it's also um, pure energy of air, which fits for a couple of reasons. Number one, as I said, we're, we're newly into Libra, and Libra's karmic payback and paying off karmic debts in certain ways. And so the Fool, it's, it's perfect what Bob said, that the Fool is really going to elevate and sort of alleviate the karmic, the new karmic pressure of Libra, which also Libras who are watching this, or people who have a lot of Libra in your charts, you're probably feeling um, the crunch of Saturn right now, because Saturn is in Libra. So the area in your chart where Saturn is placed, you, you may feel that there's a lot of lessons going on, and there's a lot of very important things that you're supposed mm -hmm. to be learning slowly over the next two and a half years as it goes through its transit. But what's nice about the Fool here is that it not only is it the pure energy of air, but it, um, it pushes us to get moving, to get moving and not be frightened of risk, to not be frightened of fear, to not uh, get stuck in our heads, which air signs, as Libra is an air sign, we love to do. So it sort of just pushes you to go out, have a little more fun, and be willing to take risks and, and go through that process with sort of a more carefree, exciting, um, youthful attitude. Nice. That is nice. So it sounds like we're going to have a good time towards the end of this week. We are, and also toward the end of this week. Um, go ahead. Uh, on uh, September 28th, um, uh, the moon sign's going to change. As of tomorrow, we'll be in Taurus. As of uh, the 28th, we're going to move into moon in Gemini. So it's just going to be another... Um, so we're going to, basically, we're going to have Sun Gemini, I'm sorry, Sun Libra, Moon Gemini. So it's just going to be a nice, airy trine going on. It's gonna, things are going to flow a little more toward the end of the week, so that fits in again with the, the, um, the air sign of, um, of the Fool. It all works together very nicely. Yeah, that is. That is. That's very, 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 very nice. And speaking of nice things, if they want to get a reading from you, <laughs> if you want to contact me, you can go to happyganesh.com. Um, we have a lot of very exciting things coming up. Number one is Happy Ganesh turns one on October 9th. Happy, Ooh, Ganesh. happy birthday! Happy birthday, happy Ganesh! Happy birthday, Elephant, elephant Man! Yes. Yeah! <laughs> we love Elephant Man. We do. Because he, he loves us. He does. He is fantastic. And um, it's nice because my birthday is the second, his birthday is the ninth, which is so it all sort of, it's going to be a nice little harmonious week. And, Watch the site because there's going to be a lot of really nice Happy Ganesh birthday celebratory things going on in the next two weeks or so. So watch that. Outstanding, outstanding. Oh, sorry. And Go also, ahead. I Go have ahead. a um, an astrology workshop coming up. It's going to kick off on October 25th. And for details, you can email me on my site. Outstanding. All right. Well, listen. We really appreciate your loving support. You're checking out the Blazing Blog. And it's your weekly support that makes all this so worthwhile. Mm -hmm. We do enjoy doing it, and we get good feedback, and we're glad that you enjoy it. So we again do thank you, we bless you, and to you, till we meet again, love and light. Bye-bye for now. Bye.